Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to determine the quadratic function that has a vertex of 1, negative 5 and the y-intercept of 0, negative 4. Um, since we are given the vertex, that tells us that we want to use the vertex form of a quadratic function. So f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are the vertex. So what we are going to do is we're going to use this equation in order to solve for a. So we're going to plug in our values that we are given here. Um, this will go in for h and k, and our y-intercept will go in for our x and our f of x, because this is a point that our graph passes through. So if I solve this, I would plug in f of x, I'm going to replace it with negative 4, because that's a point that my graph goes through, that's the output when my x coordinate is 0. We don't know a. a is what we are going to solve for. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to plug in my h and my k. Remember that I'm always subtracting on this one, so I'm going to do 0 minus 1 squared. And my k, because it's plus k, I would add negative 5, or I can just say minus 5. So what we're going to do is solve for a. So I'm going to add this 5 to the opposite side because it doesn't influence the square. Um, you don't have to do this all at one time, but a lot of times I try to skip steps. So um, I can go ahead and bring that over, and this part right here is independent. The 0 minus 1 really just gives me negative 1, and negative 1 squared just gives me a. So we end up with a equals 1, which means in vertex form, if I were to write the equation of this function, I would have f of x equals my a term, which just happens to be 1, so I don't have to write anything there, times x minus my h term plus my k term. So this is my vertex form. Most of the time in most textbooks that I have taught from, this is called vertex form. Um, the textbook that I'm currently teaching from calls this standard form, but I rarely ever see it that way, so I'm going to call it vertex form. Um, and then what we are going to do is if you have to put it in the other form, which again the textbook that I work from right now um, calls that general form, and I've always called it standard form, so um, there's multiple names for this. So it's important to just understand, look at your textbook and see what they call it. So from vertex form, if we want to expand it out into the other form of a quadratic function, um, we would have to square this value right here. Remember that x minus 1 squared really means x minus 1 times x minus 1. So if you need to, you can always go through and do out the work over on the side of your paper, or you can just use the shortcut, which is square the first term, find twice the product, which would give me negative 2x, plus 1 minus 5. And so our final answer would be f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 4. So if it tells you to simplify, this is what it means. It's to go ahead and expand it out. Um, like I said, the textbook that I teach from right now calls this general form. Um, other textbooks I've seen have called this standard form. So look at your textbook and see what it tells you to call it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.